fine. No, 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 oh my god, bro. Come on. <sighs> I'm about to do it. <laughs> it's Britney, bitch! Y'all see that I have trying to do something different, right? Like this, obviously I cannot cook stuff in the microwave without something going wrong in the microwave, like, bruh. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Shakur May, back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, then welcome. For my current subscribers, welcome back, my homies. I've reached 500 subscribers. <laughs> Give a round of applause. Thank you, thank you, thanks to you guys. I finally at my halfway mark of a thousand subscribers. Let's try to get up there. I appreciate anybody who's been watching me since day one. I know that I have so many different videos, some Air Force, eh, some Air Force related, some not Air Force related. It really does feel good to know that 500 people clicked that subscribe button and have been watching me since whenever. So uh, I do really appreciate it, guys. So let's try to keep going up, try to share my videos, share the support, even give ideas out if you guys have any other ideas on my social media. As far as my Instagram goes, you can follow me, Shakur May underscore AF, or my Twitter to be up to date in between uploads. Without further ado, this video is just an update on the weekend, I guess. I didn't really do much, but along with the week. It's funny because uh, this week, every morning, I always tend to get a phone call. And the phone calls usually be from some random number from like New Jersey or like somewhere else that's not here. I tend to answer it and it most likely be scammers. I decided to actually try to take the time to um, answer the phone call and uh, get back at the scammers. I wanted to try to do a video of me recording each day they decide to call at that moment. I couldn't get to my recorder fast enough before the call had ended, but I did get some footage, me actually talking to one of the scammers or whatever, which was really funny. Courtesy call before we close out your file. Press two to be removed and put on our do not call list. Press one to speak with someone about possibly extending or reinstating your car's warranty. Again, press one to speak with a warranty. Oh, it up. I pressed two. Damn. Reach you regarding your student loan pre-qualification. You've been pre-approved for a lower monthly payment and possibly loan forgiveness on your student loan. Due to our numerous attempts to reach you with no success, your eligibility will be revoked if we do not hear from you within the next 48 hours, and you will no longer be offered any of these programs for the remainder of your loan term. Press 2 to speak to one of our specialists now before your eligibility is revoked. Press 2 now and claim your lower... Yes, hello. Are you interested in the student loan forgiveness program? Yes. I have okay, been, so I've been, I've been, my student loans are so high, like I can't, I cannot do it. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys called. How much do you owe in your federal student loans, sir? Let's see. I owe, I have to look real quick. Let me see. One second. I owe a lot. <laughs> I owe about 10000 roughly around 10000 $10,000 and Yes. All right. And may I know, sir, may I know, sir, who is your loan provider or your loan servicer? My loan service, it's through my uh, school. It's a um, private loan sector. Um, I'm trying to think of the name. Oh, is that a private loan, sir? Um, it's, it's through the school. So it's, um, I forgot the name of it, but, uh, yeah, I think it's, uh. Are you loan? Mm -hmm. One second, I'm gonna look it up right now. All right, thank you so much. Go ahead, sir. Right, yeah, I'm looking it up. <clears throat> yes, I believe it is um SunTrust Bank. <laughs> I'm so sick of the people they call me at so many different numbers so many different numbers like I block them all the time and they just keep calling me 
Here I am trying to do important stuff like um, figure out my investments and I'm right now writing down all my subscriptions and what I'm subscribed to each month and you got people trying to take my money like I understand if it's a job but like when you scamming people for it like you scanning people for money is just f***ed up like that's just messed up to me. I'm gonna like record every single time they call me because I am so sick of them playing games like I should have asked him more questions. You know what? I'm gonna call back. I don't even know if they'll answer now. Like, I blocked this number so many times. It's like a different number, actually, every single time. I get. We are unavailable. Please leave a message and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you. Yes, I was just talking to a wonderful representative who was giving me a great deal on my student loan. He had uh, clicked on me. I don't know what happened there or uh, we lost connection. He said he was going to forgive my student loans uh, by 10000 if I put my credit card information. And I was hoping I can reach out to him and um, give him my information so uh, he can get that money as soon as possible. Please call me at whatever number you guys are calling me from and you guys have a wonderful day. Stupid. No damn sense. Can't even eat my oatmeal without these scammers trying to call me. Anybody got time for that? See, my thing is with, like, scammers. If you're trying to earn some money, why not just do, like, surveys? You know those, like, online surveys you get, like, free stuff or free credits or you win a little bit of change, like, pocket change if you do a survey, if you qualify for it? Like, why don't they just do that more? Instead of calling people, wasting their time, like, I cannot imagine working hours and hours a day just to call people and try to steal their money. Like, you taking pride in that? Like, I understand if you got bills, but, like, bro, you can't be just keep doing that to people. People have to live... It's like really messed up that they still do that. And honestly, I wish I can like personally call them and like curse them out. Like I got all these calls. Like they'll call me six in the morning, eight in the morning, nine. Like it's, it's like three hours. That is back to back nonstop. Like I got one call. First of all, my number is a Buffalo number now. So I guess they think by putting the area code, my area code is like 716. They make it so it's believable um, that it's not a scam caller from like another state. Even though I live in Hawaii and our area is 808. I got a call from Buffalo at six. That was them probably. Two calls from New Jersey at 618. And that was like 10 minutes apart. I think that was a scam call because that was a 201 number. AL. I don't know that number. I'm going to call it. Look at this. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. Oh, that's weird. That's just more strange. I wonder what the hell you know what I think is because they try calling me from those numbers and I block them and I think they're running out of numbers <laughs> they've been doing this for like I think a year they've been doing this for a whole year I want to like do research and see if I can get in on this just so I can expose them like <laughs> especially if they're trying to take money out of like people that are like in the government like that is like, that should be major. If I would have said a made up bank, maybe he would have stayed on the phone longer. Maybe if um I didn't say a private bank, cause you notice when he was like, oh, private. And I'm like, yeah, private. If it happens again, I'm going to, um, I'm gonna let you guys know. I'm just gonna turn on my camera immediately and film. They're bound to call again. Also, actually over the weekend, I've been very, very productive. Um, I actually took the time to go to Barnes and Nobles, which I rarely do. I don't even like books. I don't like reading, but I decided to walk in Barnes and Nobles and it actually is really cool. Like there are so many different types of books for people and I did not know until I went in there. Oh, real quick, my face. My face is better if you haven't noticed. The swollen has gone down, y'all. The swollen has gone down. I've been taking medicine for the past week. But no, I'm so glad I went to the doctor uh, last week and um, he said that I had like a, um, a dry socket in one of my gums or whatever. So it was really hard for me to heal. So it took me a while. Um, I have to go back uh, Wednesday for another appointment. But for the most part, I'm just so glad that my face is back to normal. I'm not swollen anymore. I'm not looking like a blown up marshmallow. And uh, I actually look better. But we're gonna see Wednesday what he says. He had to give me more medicine. I was like, yas, doctor, yas, yas. But anyways, yes, Barnes and Nobles. I went there and as you guys know from my last video, I was talking about investing and stuff. So I actually took the time to get a New York Times bestseller. Mm -hmm. 
bestseller. Can you imagine if I actually was a, like a, a person to do sponsors? I would be so dramatic and I feel like people would just click off. I got a I Will Teach You To Be Rich by Ramit Set, Set, Seti. He's Indian, he's actually Indian. So, and he mentions that several times in his book. This is actually a good book so far. I've been actually reading it. I take forever to read. <laughs> I'm on page like 50. It's not like the typical, oh, you have to put your money in this account and you save, 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 and that's all you gotta do. No, he actually like makes jokes in here. Actually sounds like a human being and I do appreciate that, but I'm not gonna give him too much clout. You can't get that much clout on this video. I, I am learning a lot with that, which is really cool. Um, but I also got another book and I never knew they had journals with like like interactive journals like people say you should probably write in a journal and I never bother writing in a journal but now I got a journal but this book I got is 3,000 questions about my future there's another one that was a um, would you rather and I might get that book at Barnes & Noble I got like $5 gift certificate at Barnes & Noble that I have to probably use soon before it expires thanks to Verizon Y'all the best sometimes because y'all build be expensive. This one it has a lot of questions like it actually gets you thinking. Random. In what ways are you preparing for your future? That's another good question. You know I'm investing. What is something you like to try in your future but worry about failing? That is actually a good question. Um, I want to try to be a fashion designer. That industry is savage. So I'm going to continue doing this. First person you call when you have good news? Hmm, Adam. Duh. What do you feel the clock ticking on in your life? That is a good question. Jeez, what? The clock is ticking. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, those. that book is actually really cool, guys. I do recommend that book if you guys get a chance. Obviously, there was a lot of questions in there. 3,000 uh, questions will occupy your time. But other than that, uh, Air Force update, I have uh, one more interview to do. I just finished my one interview. I have another interview to do uh, tomorrow, and hopefully I do good so I can take my test, and I can actually request to put on my leave which will be so, so nice. Managing my money is actually really good because it's like an eye-opener how much money goes where. I looked at my account and I'm like, I spend a lot of money on food. Your boy be hungry, so. But anyways, I just want to give you guys a hi. What's going on? See what you guys were up to, an update. Give you guys an update. Hit that like button if you like the video, want to see more videos like this, my vlog, or uh, comment down below if you have any questions and follow me on Instagram because I do post on there majority of the time. I will see you guys later. Emma May is out of here. Peace.